Hey guys, this is the biology team, and my name is Mrs. Hahn. I'm Mrs. Richardson. Mrs. Doggett. And we're going to teach you a little bit about the microscope. So, to begin with, we've got the stereo microscope. That is in that picture right there. It is binocular, meaning it has two um, holes for your eyes to look through, and it's for viewing larger specimens. Um, the magnifications that it can hold are between 10 and 20 times the magnification. And we usually use it for something that's thicker, something that's not thin that we can make a wind mount. So that's the type of microscope that we will be using for that. And next we have a compound light microscope. This is the one we most typically use in class. It is monocular, meaning mm -hmm. one eyepiece. Lenses are for, len lenses blend or refract for light to make the object appear closer. Common magnifications are 40, which is the objective that we also call scanning. It has a 4 on it, and then you multiply that by the eyepiece, which gives us 40x, or 40 magnification. Then we have low power, which is 100x, or magnification, and high power, which is 400x magnification. These are used for small organisms and cells, a lot of the slides that we'll give you to observe in class. And organisms are served on a drop of water. All right, now we're going to go through the functions of, and the, the parts of the, um, of the microscope. So first we have the body tube, and that's number one. And this portion is what connects the eyepiece to the objectives. All right, the second one is the revolving nose piece, and its function is to hold the objective lens so it can be easily rotated to change the viewing power. Next, we have the scanning objective. It's the lowest magnification and used to view a slide at the microscope lowest power. And this is the objective that you should always start with. Yes, yes, that is true. All right, this is the low objective power, and the color of the objective is yellow. It's our middle magnification, and we use it after our scanning power if we cannot see what we're trying to look for. All right, the high power objective. This is the highest power that we have, except an AP. We've got one more, a little bit higher <laughs> one on that one. Um, but for most of the microscopes we have, this is the highest power that we have. Um, this is where you're going to be able to focus in or zoom in the most on an object, but it's also the hardest to use and to focus properly on. And be very careful not to break the slide by pushing the high power too far if you're too close to the stage. Yep. All right, these are um, stage clips, number six, and that's where you will put the, the microscope slide underneath, and it, its job is to hold that slide in place so it's not you know, sliding around and you know, you're dropping it on the table. And this is the diaphragm. It changes the intensity of the cone of light that comes through, and it changes the transparency and contrast. So if you need to adjust that to see your image a little bit better, that is what you would use. The lamp. you got to have the lamp to see the organism, so turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number nine is the eyepiece. This is where you're going to actually put your eye, and you will look through this so that you can see your microscope slide. And this is the arm. This is the arm we also spoke about in the previous video in which you're supposed to hold one hand to pick up and one hand on the base. So that is the arm. It supports the tube and connects it to the base of the microscope. All right, here's your stage. This is a platform where you place the slides. If you're using something that is wet and you get a little moisture on the stage, please dry it up. All right, number 12, and you can see it um, put up right here because we ran out of space. It is called the course adjustment knob. This particular knob right here will help you move the stage um, basically up and down, right? If you want to get something in focus, you can use this. And it's used for broader adjustments. So um, this is what you'll typically use at your scanning objective, that first objective. And next we have the fine adjustment knob. It is the lower and smaller adjustment knob on your microscope. 
It moves the stage closer and farther away from the objective, but it's specific adjustment, and you have to be very careful when using um, the course adjustment if you are at the higher magnifications, and you must use the fine adjustment knob or you will break a slide. All right, and the last part is the base. This holds the microscope up, and then also when you're carrying it, you hold it by the arm, you hold it by the base. That way you've got a firm grip on your microscope. All right, guys, that's it. See you later. Bye. Bye.